well. So I had already done a review of this, but I went over the 10 minutes and my camera stopped recording and I don't want to, um, I don't want to edit anything today. <clears throat> but I'm going to do a nail polish re review for you guys today. And that's why I'm in the bathroom because the lighting in my room is terrible when it comes to nail polish. Um, there's a brand at Sephora it's by OPI. It's called Flurry Up. It's a very large, like chunky kind of a silver glitter nail polish. And I don't, I didn't buy it. It looked really pretty. Like it was definitely very sparkly looking to me. But I didn't buy it because, one, because of the cost. Um, I'm very cheap when it comes to nail polish because I love nail polish. So of course I want to have a lot of it which means I can't always spend so much for it because I'm very limited in my money these days. Um, and I also didn't buy it because it was a glitter. And at the time, I didn't know about the foil method. Um, I might do a video of that showing you all later what that is. But basically what it is is you take a cotton square or cotton ball, soak it in nail polish remover. You can use acetone or non-acetone. I use non-acetone. Um, you press it against nail and wrap a piece of aluminum foil around it and leave it on for like five or ten minutes and just... It takes the glitter polish off so quickly. Um, and so, since I learned how to do that, I realized I can actually be a bit more free in my choices with, like, glitter nail polish, especially around the holidays. Like, I love sparkle. Um, so, so I didn't buy the Flurry Up nail polish. You know, it looked very good, but I was like, you know, it's not quite in my budget. It's not really, it's not that pressing of a need for me right now. Um... But so I went to Five Below, well, we didn't go to Five Below, my mom went into Joanne's Fabric, and I just, I can't sew, and I don't really want to be around sewing stuff, because it just makes me feel like a bum. Um, I also was like, you know what, I'm just going to go into Five Below, because they have a lot of, like, good nail polish and makeup stuff uh, that's really very cheap, and it's good if you want to experiment, because then you don't have to spend a great amount of money for something you might not even, you might realize is not really your taste. So... I went into Five Below while she was um, at jo in Joanne's, and they're right next to each other. And she, not she, what am I saying? I picked up, I found this nail polish, it's by Funky Fingers, it's called Stage Dive. And it's from their Heavy Metals collection, I found out. Um, and it is a really, like, like, look at the sparkle in that. It's very, it's a little hard to tell right now. But the sparkle, any sparkle that you're seeing, just kind of exaggerate that for real life. And that's what you've got. Um, and I think a lot of people, if they're not experienced with nail polish, they're going to be like, oh, it's glitter. Like, this is what I'm going to get right away. Th this is not, that is not the color you're going to get. Uh, glitter nail polishes, it's just glitter in a clear base. And... That's not, it's not something bad, but it's something that you need to learn, and you need to be wary of it, and you need to realize, figure out if you're going to be prepared to only get a little bit in one coat, or figure out if you want to, if you're okay with doing, like, five coats before you get a really, like, thick covering, like, that's closer to this, the way it looks in the bottle. Um, I didn't want a thick covering, and I wanted something that actually would be a little bit more... Not low-key, but it would look a little bit less blingy. Um, somebody suggested I keep my nails... Like, right now I have this dark blue nail polish with the silver on top. And the dark blue I use is also from Fibro. It's from Fresh Paint. And I'm going to do a review on that later. I don't remember the name of it. I took the scanner tag off when I got home, and I took the name tag off with it by accident. So I don't remember the name of it. Um, once I find it out, I'll do a review for you. But... So, the color on top, like, it's a very, it's a very spread out kind of a color, and you see these are the large, like, this is the good thing about this polish, it's got these large, like, silver chunks of, uh, like, hexagonal pieces of silver glitter, and then it's got smaller pieces, which are a little bit harder to see, I think, of, like, kind of a gunmetal color, and so it provides a nice variation, which I think is really good, and it adds to the sparkle and the way it catches the light. Um... It goes on really easily. Like, it took me maybe one coat just to get all of this. Like, it picks up a lot of the heavier chunks, like the bigger pieces. It, you have to be a little careful with it, though. Like, I had to redo a few nails because it was a little bit too much of it. It was piled up in one area, and I just didn't like it. Um, 
I also had to redo it because when they piled up, this polish also dries so quickly. And so it would, I didn't want it to get sticky or anything, so I wanted it just to be fresh every time I did it. Um, but I think that this is a really good nail polish. And you can get it at Five Below for like $2 each. Um, they always have sales like 3 for 5 Um, the one downside of Five Below is that it's not a downside regarding nail polishes because... I mean, I think if you're going to buy from there and you're going to buy something that's makeup, um, you know, it's, it's, it's temporary, it's experimental, and if it's not going on your eyes, I don't believe it's going to cause serious damage the first time you use it. You need to be careful when you're buying electronics from there, uh, just, you know, because those things can actually have some serious damage. But I think if you want to buy, if you want, if you love nail polish like I do and you have a lot of it, like I have a lot of nail polish, um, by my standards, by some other people's standards, I like this much. But I like to get a lot of nail polish, I like to experiment, um, and I don't want to pay a lot of money for something that I don't think that, you know, it might not end up being suited to my tastes. So this is a very good place if you want to experiment with new colors. Um, just be careful because a lot of the colors that they sell there, sometimes they're very sheer and they're not true to the bottle color. You have to put a lot of coats on if you want the color to be right. Um, Glitters, obviously, there's an exception because that's how it is with all glitters. It's, you know, you're, it's glitter in a clear base. You know, you're not really going to be able to avoid that. Um, but if you like OPI's Flurry Up, um, but you just really can't, you don't want to pay the money for it, you can't. This is a good alternative, I think. And don't take me totally on that because I have not tried OPI. I'm just going by the looks. I haven't tried by feel or, you know, durability. Um, I was going to say something else and I totally forgot what it was, but, so this is definitely, shoot, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, the other thing was, I was going to say this, is that Five Below is not available unless you live on the East Coast or in the Midwest, and I live on the East Coast, so there's also like two Five Belows, five minutes from me, so a little crazy, but, so if you're on the East Coast or Midwest, and you want to try, you know, you want to experiment, you should definitely pick this up. I actually only picked it up because it was really, really shiny. Because I'm like a magpie when it comes to these kinds of things. But, so I give this a thumbs up. And I can't really do a proper thumbs up actually right now because my fingers still got issues. But, um, so yeah. So this is, I think this is a good product. Dries quickly and... So far, I haven't noticed chipping or anything, so that's good. Nothing has flaked off. I also used a top coat. I used, it's not a real top coat. It's a uh, Hot Topics black light nail polish. But, whatever. It does, it always does the job for me, and that's always worked well for me. So, and it's like $2.99 in Hot Topics, so that's good. I might do a review on it later if I ever get a black light. Anyway, but, so this is a good nail polish, and I think... It's really handy to have, especially at the holidays. Um, I'm excited for sparkles. Also, if any of you guys know this brand, and you have this color, or you've seen this color, and you remember what it's called, please let me know in, like, the comments or something, or send me a link of a review of it if you've done it, if you've done one on it, because I really, I really want to know what this is, but I don't want to have to go back to the store just yet, because then I know I'm going to be, you know, I'm going to want to buy more. So, that's all I have to say for today. Um, I'm gonna probably not do another video just yet because I have finals still to get through and my an my two year anniversary with my boyfriend is coming up this weekend so gonna probably be a little busy but after that we'll see. Um, alright so I hope you all have a good winter break and I hope you all have a nice happy holidays and Merry Christmas and Happy Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever else there is, I don't know. Um, so yeah.